Good afternoon, I'm Al and this is Backyard Yenna. I'm going to turn the light on as well for a minute because uh, it's not so bright in here. Um, it's really cloudy today, really foggy actually. Um, but I know I keep doing these videos. Um, this is the second one I'm doing this year of my loadout because um, I keep changing things about. But got the new body armor, got the new, uh, got the battle belt, sorry, got the new body armor, got the battle belt. Got my Mitch 2000 with the rails and night vision mount. Got my Mark 18 Smock MTP trousers. And this is probably the t shirt I'll wear with them when I do my loadout. And like I said, I got the battle belt, and my Glock 17. So, oh no, it isn't connected at the moment. Um, but this is going to be my 2020 loadout rather than what you saw previously with the um, Desert DPM shirt and the Tri-Desert trousers this is going to be my new loadout um, my brother might do might wear the other stuff as loadout with the ACU um, plate carrier um, and my other brother will obviously wear the TAN plate carrier, the TAN JPC and do a loadout with his M4 that I gave him with the M203 attached to you guys, if you've been with me for that long, thank you very much, because you'll have seen the Gel Buster M203 on the M4, kind of looks pretty cool, I want to see what it looks like on this, um, might look out of place, but I want to see it anyway. Um, so, yeah, not much I'm going to talk about really, because I just want to say this is going to be my new loadout. Um, I'll give a I'll go a quick run through of things. So this is the new t-shirt I got in my last mystery box. It's a D-Day anniversary t-shirt. 1944, 2019, so it's not the 2021. Um, it's cool nonetheless. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but a really weird noise. Sounds like someone's grinding something. Or sanding something down. Or strimming. I don't know. That's a really weird noise. But anyway, that's a t-shirt. You've seen the MPT. MTP trousers. In my latest videos, hopefully. Um, and just a quick on the back of that. In one of my last videos, I called them D DPM by accident. MTP, not DPM. Got the MTP plate carrier, obviously, MTP smock. You will notice there's tape round the sleeve. I haven't got round to getting the Velcro things for that yet. Um, they didn't arrive in the mystery box, so I haven't got round to that yet. So I've actually taped the sleeve where there's no Velcro. Stupid, but it works. Um, and to be fair, I don't really go many places where people are going to see me wearing anyway. I go to the woodland and stuff, and that is about it. Uh, you've seen the battle belt. I am thinking of taking the actual harness off it and just wearing it as a battle belt below my plate carrier. And all it's got on is personal first aid kit and holster. So it's got the tourniquet in there and a load of bandages and plasters and whatnot for personal use. You may be thinking, why personal use? And I'll get to that in a moment. I do apologise if I sound very... I don't know, not enthusiastic. I have a really sore throat today. So, you know, just bear with me, please. So, I had the battle belt. Then, we'll move on to the helmet. You've all seen that before. There's not much to do with it. I've put the Tactical Pirates patch on there. Go and check them out on Instagram. At Tactical Pirates. They are awesome people. They gave me that patch. Sent me that patch. 50 cal patch. No idea who that was sent by. Um... It was just sent to me by one of you guys, so I really do thank you. This patch, I can't remember where I got that from, I think it was eBay or somewhere like that. But they're the patches I have on the helmet. The cool thing about this helmet, if you're actually looking at getting one of these, obviously it's covered in Velcro, so you can put your morale patches on it. It has these side rail bits, so you can attach side rails. It also has a night vision mount. So if you've got mock night vision, or actual working night vision that will mount in there, awesome. On the inside we've got a lot of padding and your chin strap and I really do recommend that guys. 15 quid that was for me. I bought that second hand. Uh, changed out all the padding on the inside. 
Um, but I really do recommend getting one. They are like, well, they range from seeing them for 42 quid in some places, 50 quid, 60 quid. You just gotta scout around and look for where they are cheaper. I mean, I didn't purposely go for that because it was cheaper. I saw that it was only 15 quid and I sort of had that kind of money, so I went and bought it. Whereas I've been looking at them for a while. For oh, I can't really afford that. Is you know, when you've got a child, fifty quid for a helmet is a lot of money. It's a lot of money anyway, but for an airsoft helmet, that's a lot of money in my opinion. However, I would say it's definitely worth it. It's very tough plastic. Um, in fact, it doesn't even feel plastic to the touch, although it actually is, obviously. It does look and feel a bit like Kevlar, like our service helmets, but it's obviously not as plastic. So yeah, um, moving on to plate carrier, obviously it does look a bit messy at the moment. That's because the wires come detached. Basically, obviously I've got it thread through there. It keeps out the way, obviously, when I've got my arm through there. It's all the wires out of the way, as you can see. Um, however, like I just said, it does look messy because I attach this to this little hook when I'm not wearing it, and it actually came detached. So there you go. Um, got my Havoc Squad patch on there. Go check them out on Instagram as well, at Havoc Squad Airsoft. Also got the Union Jack, because you can never have too many Union Jacks. Um, three mags, one metal tan mag, two polymer tan mags. One with a little fake window, so no, little bullet, little window with a fake bullets. Two used glow sticks. <laughs> um, corporal stripes. That's a radio. And then we turn it over, and you'll see now what I mean by first aid kit well first we've got magazine um, pouch pistol magazine pouch with pistol magazine in it dump pouch that folds away nicely and then this I'm using as I need to get a first aid patch but that's going to be a team first aid kit so I don't think I've actually put any, anything in it at the moment I may have done I don't remember. <laughs> we've just got a strap and a speed loader at the moment oh and we do have a first aid kit in there sorry yeah, we've got a first aid kit in there. And uh, that's got a couple of bandages in it. Some plasters and things like that. We have this front pouch here, but well, you have two sort of front pouches. There's nothing in that one, and there's nothing in that one either. And I've just accidentally pressed on the speed loader, and it's popped the spring up. Oh, an idiot. Right. Press my out. There we go. There we go. Done it. Right. So, team first aid kits. So they, if that sort of thing, uh, Nilsen. Obviously, team can medic the salves and obviously on my belt. There is my personal first aid kit which I can actually reach to medic myself and also the team and like I say I want a, I want a first aid patch to go on here um, but that's about it guys oh footwear black steel toe cap boots that's what I will be wearing on my feet I do have my um, do have my sand type desert boots and then I have my camouflage boots that my sister got me and that is what I'll use for airsoft I will oops, <laughs> I will be putting the stubby grip back on this Um, but that is basically how it's going to be. Who needs a pet box when you've got a laser and a torch? And I could say that about my, my M4 as well. 
because the scope on there has a red dot built into that as well that lasers the target sort of thing um, so yeah who needs a peck box <laughs> I mean peck box also has the uh, infrared on it but I don't think that's needed really in airsoft um, you know if you're going for the looks yeah but other than that for usability I don't need a peck box I, I can make do and you may be thinking, oh, the laser is in front of the site. Now, if I can show you, I will. So, oop. But the laser is actually out of the way, and I'll just show you that now. There we go. Sorry, guys, I was just trying to turn the brightness up because now I've got to try and find the. There we go. And it's completely out of the way of the laser is out of the way of it, so I can obviously look down there, shoot at one I want to shoot. There's no way to actually show that it's not in the way. But yeah. So that is the 2020 loadout updated again. Please turn off. There we go. Right. So yeah, that's the 2020 loadout updated again. Obviously the Glock 17, I will be using it without the red dots right on it. Because I prefer iron sights on pistols. I like iron sights on most things. A little bit different with service rifle because you need that range advantage, that sight advantage, um, whatever you want to call it, accuracy advantage and whatnot. Um, pistols, I do like to see iron sights does look pretty cool with a red dot but I, I'd prefer to use it without I prefer the, the, the iron sights and on there oh, sorry, I'm gonna run the holographic because a it looks the makes the look makes the loadout look even more realistic or closer to the real life and obviously it serves a practicality um, so yeah that has been my updated loadout for 2020 again so uh, if you haven't seen my last ones, please go check them out. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Please stay safe.